I was in New York for New York Comic Con this past week and I stayed in Times Square, which 10 out of 10 I highly don't recommend unless you want to run into Timu version of Mickey and Elmo every morning. But with that criticism aside, guys, there's actually some good places to go Funko Pop hunting. So I'm gonna go to some of those stores and see what cool pops I can find. And without any further ado, guys, let's get it started. Here we go. All right, folks, this is a little loud, but I found my way at FAO Schwartz Toy Store right here, and there's a little FAO Schwartz section. And check it out, folks. They have the FAO Schwartz exclusive pop. I know they had this at Target at one point, I think maybe like last year or something. It looks like they have a whole section of them right here if you guys wanna take a look at it a little bit closer. This is definitely a really fun pop. I have this one in my collection. I believe there to be a Chase variant of this as well that's glitter, but I think there is another Funko section that's in here, maybe upstairs. We'll do a little bit of exploring. Well, folks, it looks like I actually found the Funko exclusive section that's over here. I think I used to take up this whole area, but they've kind of reduced it to this area right here. So I'm going to take a look around and see what they've got. Looks like they have another setup of the Toy Soldier right here, guys. So we already showed off this pop, but they've got plenty of them here. But it looks like they have a good selection of new stuff that's in here as well, guys. We have the Wizard of Oz with Emerald City. We have the Viewmaster, some anime in here. I think we're going to see a good, you know, selection of a lot of different things you got some sports in here guys with some basketball that's pretty awesome some baseball as well i gotta say i think that lou gehrig is really cool guys where he's sitting in the dugout right there that's a sweet moment over here they have a fun little halloween display guys with all the different like care bear universal monsters mashup that you can see right here they also have a couple of different uh, twilight zone pops those ones just barely came out with the narrator and the gremlin but uh, yeah, like I said, a lot of different new stuff. They have some Pop Rocks down here as well. I love that T-Pain Pop right there. I think T-Pain's awesome. But I love this little stand right here as well, guys, of the Stay Puft Marshmallow. That's pretty sweet. But in case you guys are wondering, they have some lounge fly stuff right here as well as some wallets and bags. If we come back over here, folks, they have some of the Pop Megas right here of Groot, Harry Potter, and also Batman. This little section right here, guys, looks like it's got some Stranger Things and Star Wars and some Christmas stuff. A lot of Pops that I've actually seen before, but if you guys want to see this section, here it is. Got the Elf on the Shelf, which is a new Pop. That's definitely a really fun one, guys. That would be cool to kind of, you know, replace your normal Elf on the Shelf, but a Pop version if you wanted to it around your house more star wars stuff more christmas stuff right here lots of different bitty pops guys and some of these funko mini moments i haven't seen a mini moment in a while oh and then one random exclusive that i found that i did not expect to be here guys was the chocolate cake fluffy interesting that it's here at this store didn't expect it to be here but there you go they have they have random pops for sure but what i found out guys is they're doing a little bit of like reorganizing around here so it's usually open over on that section right there but it's closed off right now because they're redoing a bunch of stuff but if you want to see all the other stuff that they have over here i think this is going to be the main stuff that we see at fao schwartz as far as funko goes but i'll keep exploring okay i'm here in a little candy section guys and i actually found some more funko pops i found the it sugar exclusive hello kitty the diamond edition one i also have a reese's uh, pop as well and some sour Power Patch Kids. Ooh, an exclusive one. I think this is normally to like itch sugar or whatever. We also have an Oreo pop in there. So actually I did find some more pops here. So I was on my way to another store guys and I actually came across a Barnes and Noble and uh, yeah, I found their pop section. Looks like they have a good amount of new stuff in here guys. All of the different Beetlejuice pops are in here. I believe this Beetlejuice does have a chase, but I would assume that the chase is long gone. Oh, they also have the two pack. Looks like they have a good selection of anime right here. Got some Star Wars and movies. I'm gonna see if I can point out any cool new stuff. Yeah, more anime on this side. Nothing too crazy I haven't shown off on the channel before. Oh, this section is actually pretty cool right here. So one pop that I don't think I've shown off on the channel before guys is the Werewolf of Fever Swamp right here. The new uh, Goosebumps pop which in one of my last videos guys i did find the haunted mask but i did not find this one i'm definitely not buying it today because i don't want to take it home with me like i said traveling with a big pop like that is pretty hard but they do have bad hair day in there they've got the night of the living dummy like i said the haunted mask i think they have the whole set here yeah double checking on the back right there they do have the whole set and another pop that i found guys that i think is really cool is the dia de los muertos we have the calavera de azúcar so like a sugar skull i think that's how that translates that's a pretty cool pop too i actually have opened this up on the channel before guys but they have the simpsons advent calendar probably one of my favorite funko advent calendars they've made but yeah, it looks like they have some more movies and television shows in here they have that exclusive harry potter with the happy birthday harry cake and it looks like they have more kind of of the same stuff some of the new sesame street some of the new winnie the pooh you got elmo chilling back there so i mean they have a good selection of stuff here 
So folks, I find myself at Book Off, which is an entertainment store, kind of like Entertain Mart, guys. They have a bunch of different media like video games and collectibles. And guys, they have a massive collectible section in here. Funkos, you name it. We're going to check it out. Dude, I had to start things off with this massive out-of-box section, guys. Everything was $5, so I figured, you know what? Let's look through it. Maybe we can find a hidden gem or two. I don't know, but unfortunately, that did not end up being the case. A lot of this was newer, like common stuff that was out-of-box, as you can see. I mean, this Miles Morales was okay this is from the ps4 spider-man game but uh looking through everything else guys i found this uh snow miser dorbs which i thought was cool it would have been cooler if we found the pop version of that play-doh p i guess that's kind of a fun ad icon i figured i would show that one off but there really wasn't anything that i wanted to pick up guys i like this louis from tailspin but going over to the normal pop section holy cow they had so many guys and it was like they had rows and rows behind so i was digging for a while i found this nft pop guys of carl you can see some of the prices right there 40 bucks i think that's about what it goes for and prices seem to be decent at the store guys is casey jones for 20 the box was a little bit faded on that one i showed off a lot of ninja turtles pops in this video for some reason but Eugenio Suarez guys from uh, the Reds. I don't think I have this pop in my collection for $10. Not a bad deal. Box was a little bit beat up. Like I said, uh, TMNT pops for sure guys. An older back Baxter Stockman. Silent Bob right here guys. I think they had uh, $40 on it, which actually that's about what it goes for. For some reason, I thought it was a little bit more expensive. It must have gone down in price, but an original pop for sure guys. We have some Star Trek right here, as you can see. And then a Chase, like I said, you just have to dig through everything because you never know what you're going to find. A King King candy guys and the price tag was kind of ripped off on this one i took it up front just curious what they would uh, put it at and they said 40 dollars box was beat up but i thought about picking that one up napoleon dynamite i actually have this whole set in my collection but i figured i would show it off guys we actually will see a napoleon a little bit later in their grail case we have an original splinter for 40 dollars, which seems like a pretty solid deal as well looking around guys we have starfire from teen titans go for 40 box was a little bit in rough shape but that doesn't seem like a bad price on starfire but speaking of fire we have firefly right here captain malcolm reynolds which i know is one of the more expensive uh, firefly pops right there and also eddie Funko, a little bit of a newer one. <laughs> Figured I'd show that one off. Hulk Hogan, some older uh, WWE for sure, guys. And um, like I said, their prices weren't too bad for the most part. Right behind me in the Funko section, guys, there was some more like figures and things, and I found some Funko soda which I thought was pretty cool. A lot of this, there was a couple things sealed, a couple things open, but I figured I'd show it off because I did find it, guys. And like I said, we're going towards the other part of this uh, in-box Funko section, and I found a couple of other really cool things like Jessica Rabbit, an original Disney pop for 30 bucks. That didn't seem like a bad deal for sure. We also have the girl, the girl Hot Topic exclusive Glow in the Dark for 20 bucks. Also seemed like a pretty solid price on that as well. And here is their grail cabinet, guys, where they have their more valuable pops, an original Thor in there, a couple of different sign pops, foot soldier, original penguin from the DC line, Napoleon's right there, some original Star Wars pops, guys, add icons. We have the Bape Ape as well. I mean, all sorts of really cool stuff in the store. I wish I had a little bit more time, but if you ever find one, definitely visit a book off for sure. Okay, folks, the last place that I find myself is Midtown Comics. We are upstairs right here because it had collectibles and things up here. So we're going to look for some pops. So first thing that I wanted to show off, guys, we'll get to the pop section, but I noticed they have a bunch of pop t-shirts. I don't see these very often. One that I found right here, guys, is a Snoop Dogg t-shirt. I think that is pretty darn cool, guys. I had the opportunity to go visit the Snoop Dogg Funko pop-up shop. Don't think I saw this t-shirt while I was there, so that's pretty sweet. But yeah, we got like Assassin's Creed. Never seen that one. What else we have in here? Toy Story i mean oh my gosh it's cool to see these shirts too bad they don't have my size in this shirt i would definitely get it i love toy story right here guys i found a little chase section if you will behind this case we have a winged monkey right in there beetlejuice the black clover one secret i think that's how you say it chainsaw man susamaru from demon slayer and also cylon prices seem to be kind of all over the place on these chases but it's cool to see them i guess a ton of other really awesome figures guys if you want to take a quick peek at those looks like over here guys they have a good chunk of like new funko pops with like some disney some anime some superhero stuff i've seen this pop before but it is very random guys we have the kite man one the box is really big really weird size but i don't know you'll have to let me know if you have that one in your collection it's a strange one and then they had another little section guys of new stuff and i figured i'd show off a couple things that i'd never seen before like this doja cat a really random pop i don't know much about doja cat so you'll have to let me know what the significance of that pop is because it's definitely re really weird and also frosty the snowman i forgot that they had uh, made this into a new pop
All right guys, back at home, and I didn't end up picking up anything from those stores. Although I gotta say, I feel like we found some pretty good stuff. Really loved FAO Schwartz, guys. I think they were going through a little bit of like construction, rearranging some stuff, but I love that they have their own exclusive pop and they have plenty of them there. Book Off was actually surprisingly one of my favorite places I visit, guys. They kind of reminded me of Entertain Mart, the store that I have back home, but they were just full of so many different pops, guys. So many different like years of things, some rare stuff, some older stuff, some grails. If they had one of those close to where I live, I definitely would visit that every week. But let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite store that I ended up visiting. But the past week, I would say a majority of the stuff that I ended up buying was from New York Comic Con, so definitely check out those videos if you want to see my hauls. Also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching again. You guys are awesome and the best. Like always, remember to be kind to one another. Always promote positivity. I will see you in the next video. Catch you guys later.